Yatsuko from Marsakio Lyceum of Patras. Uh, we are students of the first grade of senior high school and we chose the activity Advertising Human Rights. We chose this activity as a part of the European program Key Code because we believe it will be a very chal a challenging and a creative way through which we can learn more about human rights. The typology of the activity includes uh, a writing, drawing and storytelling. Our teacher, uh, me, Sana Halkidi, will function as a, moder a moderator and facilitator. Advertising human rights is an activity that asks students to think about human rights and choose the ones they would like to focus on and work on further. They can think of creative ways through which they can promote and advertise their chosen rights and uh, in order to have people informed and sensitized about them. This activity gives students the opportunity to learn about human rights in a non-traditional uh, way using their creativity and a number of different skills. To ensure that empathy is taken into consideration, we can ask uh, from students to try to identify their chosen human right, uh, think of uh, the people affected by it, come up uh, with stories of people affected by uh, the situation around the violation of their human right, and of course, they also need to think carefully of their intended audience and think of the most effective way through which they can reach the audience, inform the audience and of course sensitize the audience into taking action. So we have gathered here today uh, for the project t -Code, and our chosen activity is called Advertising Human Rights. So you have been divided into groups and your main goal for today is to come up with an advertisement for TV in order to promote a human right. So we can talk about women's rights, we can talk about children's rights, we can talk about refugees' rights. All these things, you will decide them later on. Um, so bear in mind that your advertisement will be specifically shown on TV. Your goal is, first of all, to make people aware of that particular human right, uh, how this human right is being violated, what the situation is right now, and of course, you will need to understand that right, and maybe you can also show them what they can do in order to fix the situation. Okay? Mm -hmm. More kids need to be 
be aware of this problem. Mm -hmm. And it's targeted to a wide range of audience, mm -hmm. mostly teenagers mm -hmm. groups with more the influence of all the general public. So now the time has come for you to brainstorm and uh, present to me your best. So now I have some uh, questions to see how this whole thing went and what um, uh, you took from this activity. So let me ask you, do you think that uh, this advertisement, this idea will appeal to your children audience? Uh, yes, because we choose the general public as our uh, audience, it was easy to make the advertisement appealing to Okay, very good. And why did your group chose that particular right? Why did you choose to talk about children's rights? Uh, we choose this advertise because uh, we think that uh, child abuse is a very important problem that uh, not many people give up. During the activity, I felt uh, really comfortable and uh, really active because I love to address uh, things that, like that. I really like the experience of uh, working in a group because um, we cooperated really well and uh, it was really nice to exchange uh, ideas. Uh, furthermore, um, I think that uh, I learned a lot of things about the advertising uh, workplace and uh, I think that uh, I have developed some skills in this department. So uh, this activity took uh, two teaching hours. At first the students were a bit uh, shy and uncertain of what they had to do. They were a bit confused but as they started working together and they realized what they had to do, all of them instantly became way more relaxed and I think that their willingness to help and their creativity took over and they forgot all about their initial, uh, let's say, confusion. Uh, really nice to see that the students were active participants and all of them uh, contributed to uh, the making of their advertisements. Um, I think that thanks to this activity they were able to combine different soft uh, skills. They all used their critical uh, thinking and uh, they all were able to work as a team, with some students being the obvious leaders of their teams. Uh, they were all able to communicate uh, different ideas, uh, adapt their different ideas, and eventually come up with a collaborative uh, result. And uh, it was obvious that their approach to the task given was uh, problem-solving oriented. And uh, by the end of the activity, it was obvious that they were all able to work together as a team and uh, that their motivation had significantly increased.